Greetings and salutations. My name is John James. I am an ELI facilitator at Tarrant County College Northwest Campus in the Mathematics Department. This is the time I'm going to be speaking to you about Marker Talk and Mentimeter. Marker Talk is a way to engage your students while in a classroom. Uh, I use this for my face-to-face uh, -face classes, one of the activities I use there. I have students write on the board what they know about a topic. Uh, in the classroom, I may limit it to uh, three or four words or phrases they may know about it, uh, but I have them write on the board. This works actually great in a classroom where you have like three boards around your room, uh, and maybe a large one on one wall. Uh, I had actually had a classroom one time that was in a dance room, and there were mirrors all around the room. Uh, this worked great in that classroom. Uh, if you have a small board at the front of the room, it may be a little more difficult. Uh, you may need to add some uh, sticky paper around the room, something like that, for, so students can write and do that around the classroom. Uh, they then walk around the room and view what others wrote. While they walk around, they have a few tasks. Have them circle, underline, or star comments they like or agree with. Have them draw lines be between comments that are similar and then put a question mark next to comments they disagree with or have questions about. So this is something you can do really anywhere. I do this a lot at the beginning of a class uh, where I may have a new concept, a new word. Uh, in mathematics, uh, I may say the topic I give is function. What do you know about functions? And write that and I go around the board, around the room. Part of what this does when I see this is what can what do students actually know already? What's their prior knowledge they have coming in? Uh, quite often I look at it around the room and I have the idea, well, they know nothing, uh, which means I start at the beginning. Uh, very rarely I will get something where I can see the students understand a little bit about what's going on. But I will use some phrase. This can be used really in any classroom at all. Um, in math, like I said, I use the word function. I may use statistics. Um, I may use the word uh, limit. Uh, whatever new overall concept is coming out, random numbers, randomization, probability, um, anything really, honestly. Any word you can think of, just have students write it on the board. Give different color markers, have them write. Uh, don't let any students sit down at the table. Make sure they all have a marker, they all get up and they walk around the room. Um, this will take five, ten minutes, really, uh, but talk about it. Uh, go back around when they finish, and they all have a chance to, to walk around and talk about it with each other. Have them sit, and then you talk about it, and look at some common threads. Uh, if there's something that you notice that is very, very close to your answer, uh, point that out. Uh, say, this answer right here is a great answer. Some of these other ones, you have an idea, but maybe you're a little bit off. It's a good thing we're learning about it. We're going to get you learned so at the end of the uh, concept, you will all be learned in this topic, if you want to call it that. Uh, that's a phrase my grandmother used. You got learned in something. But they will learn something, and they will be able to understand it at the end. So it lets them sort of know also where they stand. In an online environment, this is a little bit harder. Uh, so I have used a concept that I borrowed uh, from a, a fellow uh, teacher. Uh, she actually was a science teacher, and I took this idea, and I've used that in my online classes. It's Mentimeter is the actual uh, name of the program. You can get access to this at www.mentimeter.com. Uh, this is free, but you have some limited um, access. You don't have a lot of real fancy bells and whistle whistles. Um, I found out I don't need anything extra. I just need the free one. I'm happy and good with that. Basically, what you do is you make your account. Um, I just used my TCC email, made an account, and it was good to go. Once again, I used the free access. I didn't use the pro or advanced version. I just I did an upgrade, just made my account. Uh, Click on Start a New Presentation, and I will show you the step-by-step -step how we're going to be doing this. Choose a slide type uh, that you want to do, and I'll show you the ones that I have used, and I'll even give you some examples of what I've done. 
And last of all, you click present. So you show that. Whoops. Sorry. Hold on your eyes for a second. There we go. Sorry. Um, I didn't have that fully set up. But that's okay. So here is where I have a new presentation ready to begin. I have a few of my other ones I've made. So I'll click on here, make a new presentation, and I'll just call it trial. Make your new presentation. So there's my new presentation. You have some different types of questions you can ask. You can have multiple choice questions. The one that I really like is word cloud. Uh, to me, this is very similar to what the students would do when they walk around the room. And I'll show you what um, I talk about when I have some examples of how I've used that. You can use scales, ranking, Q&A, uh, quiz completion, or competition, sorry, types of answers. But you have different things you can make. You can actually make a sort of PowerPoint slide in here where students can access it. And you can really make this your PowerPoint if you want to do that. So that's how you want to do that. Then you click present that we have over here. So once you get one created, it's actually very, very simple. Uh, I found just play with it. Find something you like and use it. That's what I've done. So here's what it looks. Oops, and then show it to your students. When you click present, uh, you show it to your students. Here is what it looks like when I showed it to my students. What the students will do is they go to minty.com. Instead of Mintimeter, they go to minty.com. When they do that, it will ask them for a code. Uh, in this particular class, uh, they had the uh, code 3900 and then 31. And in this one particular class, I said uh, give three words that you think of when you hear statistics. So instead of having them tell me what they knew about statistics on the board, I gave them this question. Um, and so the students wrote it in. What this word cloud does is the larger words are words that were repeated by multiple students. The bigger the word, the more often it occurred. So I can see on here probability is what a lot of students think of in this one class that when they heard the word statistics. And in the bottom right hand corner, you can see that there were 16 people that actually contributed. Um, and actually, my voting is closed, so if you tried to go and enter this code, uh, you would not get my actual one. Uh, when I have my online classes, when I do it synchronous, the students can see it pop up as it goes. Uh, however, if it's asynchronous, where it's being recorded and the students look at it later, I can leave the uh, Mentimeter open, and students later can go in and they can add their words to it. So I have seen that happen where I've left it as a recording, and then students add their their actual words to it and so I can see how it modified as it goes but as the students type in their words you can see it change some words get bigger some words are added they change pattern they change a shape but this is the word cloud uh, some other examples uh, when you finish here's some that I've done in my classes here's another one with statistics it was a little bit smaller class I had 12 people that contributed uh, but they had uh, the word average percentages data, and so on. So this is a different word cloud for a different course. And then in a uh, calculus class, I use this one is, what do you think of when you hear the word limit? So give me three words. So they gave me some values in here. And we talked about some of these in class. So we went over that. And in this class, again, I had 11 people participated. Uh, these were the ones that were in the synchronous part of the course that I gave. Uh, the asynchronous part later, um, I didn't actually pull that information up, but there were some students that did add to it that came back and watched the recording at a later time. But again, uh, this uh, type of marker talk uh, worked great in my class. I got an idea of what was going on. So I hope you have a great semester. Maybe you can find some way to use this in your course, a very quick, easy, simple thing to get going, uh, but try it. If you find some other examples that you like a little bit better, share them with me. I love to find new information. So email me and I'll be great to, glad to use those. Thank you and have a great rest of your semester, like I said.